One of the vehicles being shown for the first time at IDF 2019 is this huge recovery vehicle seen behind me. This has been developed by the Machinery Production Group to meet the potential requirements of the Turkish Land Forces Command. And following trials with a prototype vehicle, a production order has been placed for 29 units. The main role of the vehicle is to recover vehicles in the forward battlefield area or, or change components. It has a very high level of cross-country mobility and it is based on a Tartra 8x8 chassis, which has got a very good record around the world. As it's going to operate in the Ford area, it is fitted with a fully protected four-door cab with the windows providing the same level of ballistic protection. In addition, on the top of the vehicle you will see it has got a remote controlled weapon station armed with a machine gun and behind that is the electronic devices to counter improvised explosive devices. Um, it has a full range of recovery equipment which includes a front mounted winch for either self recovery or recovering other vehicles while at the rear is the main winch with a capacity of over 40 tonnes. In addition, you will see it has a crane, and that can actually be used to recover some vehicles which have become bobbed, or changed power packs, or changed turrets. The actual capacity of that crane depends on the jib. So if it tends to be shorter, it has a higher capacity. If it is extended, um, it has a lower capacity. And to provide a more stable fire platform, there are two extendable legs either side which are lower to the ground and at the rear is what we call a lift and tow device and that enables vehicles to be lifted up typically wheeled vehicles by the front uh, and towed away where they can be repaired as required. The Tartra chassis has been around for some time and this particular model has fitted with power steering on the front wheels and a central tyre inflation system that allows the tyre pressure to be adjusted by the driver to suit the actual terrain being crossed. The suspension is independent on all wheels and it's got power steering on the front wheels. The cab also has a nuclear biological and chemical protection system and cameras provide situational awareness for 360 degrees. In the past, recovery vehicles wheeled were typically of the 6x6 type with an unprotected cab. That is no longer the case, so there is a trend towards the design, development and fielding of what I call 8x8 recovery vehicles uh, fitted with a fully protected cab. That allows the vehicle to operate in high threat areas.